the same with B Sharp Guitars, and with me is a Relic. This is a Fender Coronado 2. Uh, this is something that was actually released uh, in the 60s, got reissued earlier this year. As uh, far as the exact year, probably can't really tell, because uh, for me to know that, I would have to actually remove the neck, and I really don't got the means for it. And, but here it is, a serial number. If you can take a look at it. It is 20884. Uh, looks good. Uh, does have a couple of issues. Um, one thing I'll just point out right off is that the nut, hold on, trying to hold that E string. I just play it, it kind of knocks it out and gives it a little buzzy. So, if you do get it, you probably want to take it to a luthier and probably, I don't know, maybe have the turn to more or maybe go to a lighter gauge and also the strings that action set really high and I think the only way I can bring that bridge down is I have to get the some kind of special screwdriver and I do not have that in my arsenal and it does have some cosmetic scratches so I mean it's been taken out played with I don't know if folks can see it still is a really great guitar it's definitely something that's a collectible item so I see a lot of people really going for that and, uh, and of course, you know, some of these, you know, falls I pointed out, that's probably something you could just probably take it to a luthier and he'll probably just do it for, you know, pennies on a dollar. Everything else sounds pretty good. I mean, there's a little bit of scratch electronics, but I think that's something kind of expected, you know, something this age. So anyway, there's really not much else to go. So if you are interested in getting this nice little uh, relic from the past, please, by all means, make your bed. Anyway, this is Sam with B-Sharp Guitars, over and out.